Right, just taking this rather lovely 60s soft window Targa for a spin. Um, it's really beautiful. Um, got Brian with me though, because Brian knows a lot more about these older cars in the 60s than I do, because he's older than me. Uh, That's about true. a year. <laughs> so, Sad, <laughs> true. So Brian, um, I know there's a big story behind this car. I mean, we've done a full nut and bolt restoration on it. We have. Um, but there's two, I think you said to me, there's two certificates from Porsche that you've got. Tell me what those There are. is. So this is a very strange car. So we came across this three or four years ago. I got a phone call to go down to Devon, have a look at this Holy Grail car. So I was told it was a 66 concept car from Porsche, built in right-hand drive two years before they ever did a soft window Targa in a 912. So I obviously hot-footed it down there. Got to the car, it was almost flooded, um, managed to get under it, had a good look round. I couldn't see that it had ever been anything other than a left-hand drive car. Anyway, we bought it back, we've restored it, we've pepped it up, but we now have two sets of documents. So we have a set saying, yes, it's a Holy Grail car, it's a 66 right-hand drive 912 concept car, and we have a set of documents saying, no, it isn't. It's a 68 left-hand drive, still a gorgeously rare car, but not quite a 66 right-hand drive, never built concept car. Right. So it's really, take your choice. Could be a winning lottery ticket. I'm pretty sure it's the latter. It's the 68 left-hand drive, but it is a gorgeous drive. They're just classic lines, nothing fast about them. This one's a little bit more peppy in that we've got bigger carbs, bigger pistons, bigger barrels. But essentially, is it that 66 Holy Grail car? Doubt it. Be lovely to think it was. So if it was... Half a million pound. Oh my God. If it isn't? 100 grand. Okay. So there's a little bit of difference in there, but but that's why. But it for me, I think it is, it is the 68. Um, back in the day, it was a handwritten ledger called the Porsche Bible. People make mistakes on computers. I'm damn sure they made mistakes when handwriting yeah. a ledger. So, you know, it's a lovely piece of Porsche history. We love finding stuff like this. It's a great story to it, but the guy that we built it for, unfortunately not so well now, needs to move the car on. So it's a really unique opportunity to get hold of a talking point that's a piece of Porsche history, who knows. But uh, lovely car, whichever way you look at it. And 89995. 89995. Great. Thanks, Brian.